Welcome back to Energy Cleaning. Today we're putting something kind of fun here in my toilet. Well, it's going to be really fun. We put a lot of things in my toilet. We put WD-40. We put mouthwash. We've put Coke in my toilet before and we have put Kool-Aid in my toilet before, but this one you have not seen on this channel. This is something that you may have laying around your house. And of course, at the end, I'm going to show you some things that you can put in this toilet that will make it smell wonderful. That's natural. And you already have laying around your house. Like I already said, okay, move on into it. Today, we're going to be putting in Elka-Seltzer. You guys, this isn't just Elka-Seltzer. This is Elka-Seltzer plus cold. On the back here, what's very interesting, this is made of aspirin as one of the ingredients. You all, if you want to know, I cleaned my uh, laundry. I tried to remove stains with aspirin, so if you want to know how that turned out, I will link that video in the description box below. So I just have two little tablets right here. We're going to drop these in here. They're going to fizz. It's an effervescent, which is a really fancy term for this contains carbon, and then when you drop it in there, the composition of it causes it to break down and fizz fizz, which I absolutely love. So we're going to drop these in here. We're going to let it sit for about 20 minutes. Then we're going to do just a, just a tiny bit of scrubbing. You see the pink ring down there and we'll see how well this works to other toilet cleaning methods or hacks that you have probably seen floating around the internet. Now what's contained in here is usually citric acid and sodium bicarbonate. And the combination of these two things creates the carbon dioxide gas getting you the bubbly. But these two things I'll show you at the end. You can get that without these tablets. I don't typically have these laying around my house. However, I do want to make a bunch of cleaning videos on these things. So let's ready, get set. Let's drop them in the toilet. Here we go. Ooh, there's the fuzzies down in there. My guess is the 20 minutes is because that's maybe how long it takes it to break down and then allow it to do its thing here in the toilet bowl. So let's put the other one on in there. All right, there we go. Maybe after the end of this video, you can impress your friends and family with some fun toilet, toilet cleaning hacks, toilet cleaning hacks as well. That is kind of cool, you guys. It's a little bit mesmerizing. I know, it's the little things that become entertaining when you're cleaning your home, yes? I mean, it's like a bubbler in your toilet. That might freak somebody out. If you had this going in your toilet, you're just like, I just got a really fancy toilet, that's all. It's super fancy. Don't worry about the bubbles up in your booty. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes while that sat. I cleaned the rest of my bathroom, which was really nice. So let's just take a peek here. And it's pretty much dissolved in there. So we're going to take a quick scrub here, see how well it actually comes up. I was trying to really think about how, why would you actually do this? I mean, other than it's being, it's fun, right? Let's just see what happens if it makes scrubbing much easier. If you had a bunch of lime scale or hard water stains, this could be useful um, rather than using something like bleach. I would say if you had expired tablets in your home, this probably would be the best thing to use it for is cleaning your toilet. Um, I've also seen people clean out old vases if you have flowers in them because a lot of times they get a lot of scum and residue on the inside that gets hard to scrub out. So I would probably only use these for cleaning purposes at this point if this was expired. Otherwise, I feel like I would use this for what it's needed for. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put that down. I'm gonna grab my toilet brush here. Now, if you want to know all these fun ways to clean your toilet that I have tried and to save you some time, I have a whole playlist linked in the description box below. But let's just see. I'm getting excited, you guys. I know. It's a little things. I got three toilets in the house, four kids. So there's a lot of toilet cleaning that goes on, except when I have to make a cleaning video. I'm like, honey, let that toilet sit for as long as possible. <laughs> it's like not a problem. Okay. I mean, it's just sliding right off. See that ring here? It works. Around there. Ooh, do you guys see like this yellow? Ooh, there's the lighting. You see that yellow one? That was really easy. This toilet, I need a toilet brush by the way, you guys. It's on my grocery list. I haven't ordered it yet. Grocery list meaning target pickup. Uh, it works, guys. I mean, like I haven't hardly even scrubbed. You guys already saw that. Up in the rim here. I don't know, it works, it's fun, it bubbles. This is a great way to use your expired Elka Seltzer. Or if you just wanna try this and let me know what you guys all think. Um, it's doing a great job. I like it, 
I like it. What do you guys think? Are we impressed? Are we impressed with the Alka-Seltzer in the toilet? Oh, I definitely gotta clean around the room. You can see that right here. But this is good. I like it. It doesn't smell like anything. So if you um, have an aversion to different smells, I'm not smelling anything. Okay, so let me show you another method. I'll take you to another toilet. A toilet dirty. Oh my goodness, you guys. A dirty toilet in my house. And we'll clean it with a similar process in terms of um, an acid and a base and creating carbon dioxide gas. But it's gonna make it smell really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna shut this lid. Let that drip dry and move on. Keeping it real with you all, this is my kid's bathroom. There's gonna be some stuff in here you probably didn't wanna see, but why clean my toilet before I show you how to clean your toilet? Like, that makes no sense, okay? All right, so this is what we're gonna do here today. I always have a bag of lemons in my house because I put this in water and I clean with it, but watch this. This is just some baking soda. Let me show you something here really quick. This is onion powder. This has been cleaned out, so it doesn't smell like onions anymore, but it's awesome if you wanna clean your mattress or your couch or your carpet, for that matter, if you wanna remove a stain on your carpet with baking soda and vinegar, this is perfect. It's like the perfect free sifter you didn't have to pay anything for. I could take this label off, but you guys, I don't know. I just think it's cool. Okay, whatever. So take your lemon, watch this. This is cool, I just love this. Citric acid and baking soda. You guys see that? So this is what's gonna happen in our toilet. So I'm going to squirt some of this lemon down in here and this, it's already bubbling. It smells absolutely awesome. So you could do it this way if you wanted to, like I dipped it in there and I showed you like so. Or you could just sprinkle the baking soda in your toilet. So essentially, this is doing pretty much the same thing that the Alka-Seltzer did, but these are just natural products around your house. Same chemistry behind it and how it's working. This is why they often say to drink lemon water. I will make a video on that one and how it cleans your insides, so to speak. Best case scenario, I would have gotten those seeds out of the toilet right here, uh, but I wasn't able to. So you can go just like that. If you want a little, little extra, you know, you can go like this. Um, just a little, add a little extra grit there for us. Okay, I'm just gonna let this sit. I could go ahead and clean it right now, which let's just go ahead and do it. Or you can let it sit just depending upon how bad your stains are. So let's go and I will show you. See, we got a big stain down there. It just smells so nice. And here's the fun fact for you. Your poo contains a lot of fats generally if you have the average American diet and the acid can help break up the grease that oftentimes will stick to a toilet or clog a toilet for that matter. You guys get where I'm going with that one? Yes. So this is awesome. I love this method. There you go. Clean it on up. Get under your rim as much as you can here. That's why they have this little end on your cleaning stick so you can get up in there like that. It works relatively well. But I love this method. More than the Alka-Seltzer. The Alka-Seltzer was fun to try and it bubbles, but this does this does as well. And we're gonna go ahead. Oh, this is a little bit different. We need a new toilet seat. All right, let's go ahead and flush this. Very, very nice. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Also, I teach you how to turn your passion into profit and even cleaning your house and doing fun cleaning hacks can be a part of that. If you are not friends with my friend Nadia from All of You More, make sure that you hit her up. She is a wonderful boss mama who also inspires me. She is also someone who's creating her own product, her own business so that she can be home with her babies more often and really choose her own schedule. So check out Nadia at All of You More. She is absolutely wonderful. She has supported me in my own journey here from going from corporate to fully self-employed. Take care, my friends.